CEI, welcome back to the stream. Today, we are back with Rocket League, uh, CEI versus Central Washington University. I am joined by my co-host, Tucker. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, and we are in the NACE League. Right now, we are just waiting for teams to get ready so we can get games going. I'm I'm very excited. I'm hoping to see CEI fix the mistakes we've seen in previous games and then come back and maybe finally... Uh, get a dub same I, and and you know for for those coming in tuning in with us and, and watching live with us every monday they they are only seeing the nace league and so they're not seeing the other league that's being played mm -hmm. which they're they're able to capitalize and get wins in in that junior college league but this is we're dancing with the big boys in, in the this NACE one league, yep. <laughs> so uh it, it would be even more meaningful to to secure a win in this league to have our little community college start getting wins against big universities. Right now, I think we're just waiting on the in, the other team. Yeah, it looks like just lobby creation. Just lobby creation, okay. But last week we saw another Washington school. Mm. We saw CEI take on Washington State University, and honestly, that was probably the best team that they had encountered thus far. Um, and as you can hear, we are we're headed to game. Right about to get there. So <laughs> I'm just sorry, excuse me. I'm listening to the boys get locked in. Love to hear it. Um but yeah, last week they played against Washington State University. Um and they did come up short ultimately. Um however here they are taking on the the Washington counterpart, which is Central Washington. We'll see if we can conquer the <laughs> middle of Washington, as it were. We'll get one of the regions. The, yes. <laughs> okay. Ball be played back into the CEI half. Rusky will look to 50 off the wall, but it is take taken by CW. Texic will look to meet in the corner. A little bit of a whiff coming out from Illusion Monkey. Quantum will look to play double tap opportunity, and he will Ooh. sneak it past. Marmalade there on the goal line. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that was that was three taps right there. One, two, three. Oh yes, my sir. goodness! Triple. Well done. Style points right off the bat. Listen, A for you for counting. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Absolutely. So, unfortunately, quick goal for CEI. Again, the ball will be played back into the CEI half. Marmalade will look to keep position. But won't be able to take it past Johnny Quantum, and that is a great redirect coming out from Ooh. Squig on CWU. Again, and we're seeing the uh, the curse for CEI happen once again. First 30 seconds in. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Really great redirect there. Um, I think Squig saw that there was some uh, an overcommit coming out from Texic on the CEI half, and, and was just able to knock that one past. Well done again by CWU. However, Marmalade may have something to say about that right there. Looking for a double tap opportunity, not able to con uh, convert. Texic will try and will also come up short. Good 50 from Rusky in the CEI half. Will be able to pop it over Johnny Quantum and will look to get an opportunity there. Oh! And unfortunately, coming out with the team save, playing 4v2 is CEI. Squig looking to center. Marmalade playing down. Johnny to the wall. Rusky will pop and will put it just wide of net. A little bit of an awkward situation there for CWU, but they do transition onto the offensive half and look are looking to continue to keep up pressure. Two demolitions coming out from Central. However, this... Whoo, and that's just in. Listen, we is, take those. We take those every day. He tried. He almost got there. Great read, excellent pressure coming out from Texic. You know, and, and CW, Central Washington had uh, had a, a, a massive opening. It, being able to get two demos there um, mm. on their offensive end and not being able to capitalize, that's that's gonna be one that they, that's gonna be a possession rather that they wish they had back. Um, however, Rusky looking to center to Marmalade. However, not able to make contact. Texic is looking to read and looking to keep pressure for CEI. Ball will find its way to Rusky, and he will place it on backboard. Marmalade looking to redirect the shot as well, oh, and ooh. this time, Rusky will not be saving. Texic able to slot it past the fourth defender. It's back to a 3v3, people. No longer 4v2. <laughs> That's right. 
That's right. So you guys doing a much better job compared to previous games, getting that pressure up and keeping it up. Contesting in the air and the walls, which I like to see. Yeah. Utilizing all the angles, really. Um, and, and again, able to keep possession and, and to keep pressure ultimately on Central Washington, just kind of making it a little bit un uncomfy for them. Again, uh, honestly, a good good 50 there from Rusky just to make it awkward, making someone on Central Washington jump to the ball. However, Squig looking to counter, unable to do so. However, Johnny Quantum trying to keep possession. However, Texic will win that 50 illusion. Placing the ball underneath Tegzik and Squig taking to the air, as is Johnny Quantum. This ball is on it and a great Ooh. redirect coming out from Illusion Monkey. What a great pass and redirect. Absolutely. Coming out from Central. Leaves us 3 2, with just over half the game left to be played. Still plenty of time for CEI to answer. I do like that in that moment, rather than just banging the ball away, they, they looked to carry um, and, and to make a meaningful possession. And they're able to do that so thus far. However, Squig able to turn the ball away. Texic looking to put one on net, but it's just, it is just wide. A double commit coming out from Central Washington. Squig is doing a good job keeping with the ball, but Marmalade will take it back to center. Maybe getting a pass to Texic. It is a good dunk. However, you would have loved to see that play develop a little bit faster mm. with hopes to see that ball actually um, go on net. However, Central Washington able to deal with that defensively. Johnny Quantum gets dunked, but it is centered, and it's just up Ooh. and over Marmalade, unable to make contact with that on the goal line. Really, probably just, just an awkward situation there for CEI. Yeah, it looked like Johnny was coming in with the bump on Marmalade. He has to react quickly and, and is not able to take off the way that he would have liked. That said, it is 4-2 in favor of, of Central Washington. Ooh, great dunk by Texic. Will, will center itself, however, no one on CEI to, to capitalize on that opportunity. Unf an unfortunate miss coming out from Rusky. However, Marmalade is able to gain possession and not able to center off backboard for a C CEI teammate. Another demo coming out from Illusion Monkey. Lots of demos. Lots of them. Great Shot. passing Ooh. opportunity from Rusky. Tux Texic, excuse me, was on the other side there. Marmalade will take to the sky and push it to the corner. Rusky unable to make contact with that in the pass Ooh. from Squig to Illusion Monkey will make it five to two. Yeah, it's a crucial hit there from from Rusky. The rest of the team is anticipating that he will make contact there, um, and thus it, it leaves it leaves everyone in a little bit of an awkward situation. Another unfortunate whiff coming out from Rusky Reaper, and the same for, from Texic. Johnny Quantum able to carry up and over two CEI players here. First Texic, and then Marmalade with the late challenge. Well, I we won't say he tries to carry over on Marmalade. Only, mm. only one. Save some pride <laughs> for later, perhaps. And there's just an, there's just a open net from CEI. A little bit of miscommunication. Yeah, absolutely. Coming That's out from the boys. That's what I was going to say. Well, it's gone from from bad to worse. From bad to worse. Um, CEI, 7 to 2. Hopefully, CEI just won't let them keep dunking on them and maybe get some of that pressure back up just to keep the momentum not as uh, in favor of Central. Absolutely. Uh, if they can gain, I mean, it, it is silver lining at this point. If they can gain and carry some momentum going into game number two, mm -hmm. um, I mean that that's only going to prove slightly beneficial there. Um, again, there I, I mean there were some good opportunities for CEI here in game number one, 
just not able to to execute and just gave up too many easy opportunities for Central Washington University. Very true, and he's just looking to hit the ground. However, they're not going to let it touch. Huh. Great pop from Texas Squig. Squig just killing it. Will kill the ball there. So. We do see CEI drop game number one again, 7-2-2. You know, only, only able to uh, clock four shots in total. Mm. So moving forward, you definitely like to see CEI be able to put more shots on target. There, there were other shot opportunities overall. Again, just, just wide, just wide of net ultimately so and it just seemed like cei kept the pressure up for a little bit and that's when the game was pretty uh pretty even afterwards once they kind of let it go then um uh, central washington was just able to keep pushing it through yeah but i definitely think overall it was probably a solid minute and a half of play however you, you need to be able to put together a full five minutes in these games in order to do what what needs to be done to, to secure a win. Um, however, this could be a little bit of a redemption arc for CEI if they're able to show up here in game number two. Crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. Putting the indeed. good vibes out there. Absolutely. And we're off. In game number two, Texic will push the ball to the side. Rusky looking to meet. Squig on the board there. Illusion Monkey. Also looking to redirect, however, unable to make contact. Squig po popping it up, and Rusky's on low boost. Mm. You hate to see it. Definitely. Just not quite able to get there. Not enough in the tank. Sometimes um, when you're in the heat of the moment, just you tend to see some tunnel vision happening. You don't really realize, you know, where everything is at. Oh, and a whiff coming out from Marmalade. But thankfully, Central not able to capitalize off of it. Very awkward in the corner right now. Very awkward and a great bump coming up from Squig. Mm. Um, again, they're just making it so awkward for all of CEI. Texic looks to clear, but is dunked by Illusion Monkey. Marmalade will push it to the wall and will try to keep pressure here. However, in that offensive attack from Central Washington, they're, they're taking all the boost. So there's not a lot of a lot of pace coming out from CEI to to really make an effective clear because as as we see now, Central Washington look to create another offensive attack. Pass Set from Illusion up. to Squig Ooh. and will be able to just slot it past two CEI defenders there. He just held it right in the air for Squig to come in and slip it past every single one of CEI's defenders. You hate to see it. That will be 2-0 in favor of Central Washington. Rusky able to clear the ball downfield. Potential opportunity for Texas. However, Squig is there for the save. Rusky looking to keep on pressure. Looking to be a little bit of a nuisance. Marmalade trying to center. However, that will find its way past Texic. And that will be 3-0 for Central Washington. An open net from CEI as... I think the players didn't expect them to send it back so fast and so quick but unfortunately playing with the big dogs that's something that you have to look out for right now uh central washington sitting at three cei sitting at zero in game two exit try to keep it in the corner rusky will look to center however illusion monkey is there to deal with it Texic sending it back on net and that does find itself going crossbar down Rusky there and able to capitalize. Just finding the open net, getting past all the defenders. He's able to put one away for CEI. And we're still only 3 minutes and 15 seconds in, so plenty of time to bring this back. They just have to keep the pressure up and keep playing the long game. Johnny, we're going to put this one on net. Texic able to turn that away. Taking it back upfield. Texic looking to carry. Will center, however, no one there from CEI. That said, Central Washington was quick to deal with that. Probably best not to, to overcommit in the first place. Pass down from Marmalade will find its way to Rusky Reaper. 
Texic looking to continue to apply this pressure. Big clear from Illusion Monkey. We'll take it to the corner and Marmalade will look to deal with it. Trying to carry this out. Squig will catch. Rusky there to read. Illusion looking for a center. And Marmalade will take to the air. However, a double commit coming out from Central Washington. Just no one from CEI to deal with that opportunity. Central Washington quick to adjust, to recalibrate, and will look to send it back to the CEI half. However, great dunk in the air coming out from Marmalade. The ball will just sneak past Tekzik. Unfortunately, that passing opportunity won't find a connection. Squig in the corner, looking to center Illusion Monkey up, and no one is back Ooh. for CEI. That's just cherry picking from Central Washington. We're seeing a lot of open net uh, opportunities and passes coming out from uh, Central Washington, just capitalizing on CEI. Maybe bad rotations, maybe maybe just not enough pressure, but definitely bad rotations. Um, you should, in that type of sequence, you should not be seeing an open net if mm -hmm. you're Central Washington. Um, just CEI being MIA, to be totally honest with you. Flip to the wall, pass to Marmalade. However, unable to, to dunk there. A little bit of a double commit coming out from CEI. I understand the aggression that they might feel like they need to, to apply because they are down three goals right now. Mm -hmm. it, sh it just needs to be a little bit more calculated than what we're seeing right now from CEI. A little bit of hesitation there from the boys, just not enough communication going on more than likely, however. Marmalade beat to the ball by Illusion Monkey. Squig looking to, to follow up off the backboard. Johnny Quantum is there, however, dunked, unfortunately, by two CEI players. Another double commit coming out from CEI. Rusky able to push it to the corner. That said, Central Washington just a little bit faster than CEI and, and are able to set themselves up again for an offensive play. Good dunk coming out from Texic onto Johnny. Squig will put this one just high of net. Johnny Quantum unable to follow up. However, Illusion Monkey there. Passing opportunity from CEI. Rusky looking to center. Texic not able to get the read that he wants. Does direct it back to the wall. Rusky pops over Squig. Johnny back in the air. Marmalade looking to create some sort of possession for CEI here in the closing seconds. Only 15 remain. And it's looking pretty bleak for the boys. Marmalade looking to center again. Definitely. Hopefully they're just able to put one away. They've not, not let Central Washington get another one sent on them. However, it will hit the ground and that will be game two to um, Central Washington University. And right now, right now, it seems to be um, a lot more pressure coming out from Central Washington and not enough from CEI. Maybe some miscommun miscommunication from the boys. Potentially. Um, but right now, for those of you just joining, this is the NACE League for Rocket League. Um, we have CEI versus uh, CWU or Central Washington University. Right now, it is 0-2 um, in favor of Central Washington. Uh, best of five so hopefully CEI will be able to bring it back get a game under their belts and we might see a game four uh, yeah at this at this point uh, in order to turn the series around it it has to start now obviously backs mm -hmm. are against the wall for CEI um, unfortunately there's just a lot of small mistakes that it's just it's just looking way too easy for Central Washington overall we saw a little bit in um, Game one, CEI was able to keep the pressure up, and they were starting to, they were meeting toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with um, Central Washington, but it kind of petered off, and hopefully we're going to see a little bit more of that in this game three. CEI might be able to put one under their belt, and we'll get to a game four. Indeed. Center coming out from Rusky to Texic, however, not the pace that he would like behind that shot. That is easy to deal with for Central Washington, and they're able to transition back onto offense. Johnny looking to set up Squig. However, Texic is there to meet them and deny goal number one. Texic will push it to the wall. Does have zero boost, so he's not able to get the touch that he would like otherwise. Squig 
with a big clear, which will see Texic again. Try to deal with it. Right now, and honestly, throughout this series, C Central Washington has just owned the midfield. Um, Very true. And they've, and, and because, because they're able to own the midfield and able to keep rotations a little bit tighter and a little bit more smooth, um, they're, they're, they're just continued. They're, they're allowed all, all of the touches that they want. They're allowed to continue to press as, as far as they want mm -hmm. just, just because. And we see it a lot from Squig. He's doing a great job just dominating the center of the field, not letting CEI have any breathing room or any sort of. With that said, though. Yeah, with that <laughs> said. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> uh, he's, he's just doing a good job at shutting down any sort of plays or pushes down the center, and he just has an overwhelming presence, it feels like. Definitely a really rare miscue coming out from Central Washington that mm -hmm. does allow Marmalade just to, to <laughs> I mean, perhaps the easiest tap of his life. Yeah, true. That said, we're going to need to see a little bit more resilience overall coming out from CEI. They need to find a way to better hold on to the ball and just better create opportunities for themselves. Let's keep catching it. He's keeping the pressure up on CWU, but Texic. So close. Right now, they just seem to be trying to grab at the ball any way they can. Uh, Central Washington just doing a great job at making sure that they are just out of reach every single time. Absolutely. Awkward bump between two CEI, uh, two of the boys. Yep. Good touchdown from Texic. However, Squig is there and, and looking to pass to Illusion Monkey. We have a solo defend Marmalade. However, through the CEI members, make it back. Squig just not able to connect with the ball at all there. Right now, we're just trying to see CEI put it back onto the side of Central Washington, and Marmalade will do just that. Trying to follow up, but Loose Monkey will send it back. It seems like Central Washington does a um, good job at making sure that the ball does not get to their side. Yeah, and again, that's that's because they're controlling the midfield. Mm. Um, if, if if you control the midfield, why why would they be able to have an opportunity? You know. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Marmalade ran out of boost there, not able to to keep the pressure that he would have liked. Texic to play off the wall. However, Illusion Monkey will. Will bang to the CEI side. Maybe, maybe something here Ooh. from Marmalade that will be denied by Johnny Quantum. Unfortunately, no one from CEI able to follow up on that opportunity. There was a little bit of an opening from CEI, just again, not able to capitalize. And it definitely seems like Central Washington is just doing a better job at uh, having somebody follow up in case the main shooter doesn't make it in and then having the option to pass too. Whereas CEI seems to be relying a little too heavily on... Uh, just solo uh, dribbling the ball in or solo shooting the ball in. Yeah, and, and you know, there's there's a time and place for the solo play. However, just just the immense amount of pressure that is coming out from CWU, like we see there as, as Illusion Monkey is able to put that one into the back of the net, which does not it up. 1-1, one, one, just a little bit of an awkward situation, awkward positioning from Texec, not able to deal with that, and no one... Close enough on the back post to, to help deter that from going to the back of the net. And we've seen CWU do that a lot. They just hold it or set it up for their teammate to shoot it in. They don't need to be the main character of the story. They're allowing their other team to uh, teammates to score because they understand it's a team game. In the end, you're going to have to utilize your teammates to the best of your ability to make some plays happen. And right now, Marmalade just barely saving it. Very yeah. awkward, very awkward. Wig looking to reset. However, he knows that he needs to rotate back. Marmalade uh, not able to deal with that or, or create a, a meaningful center. Squig close. Illusion Monkey with the touchdown. And so far, decent defense. However, the three of them are bunched up on that front post. Texic will be able to pop it over. And Marmalade will have to make a miraculous save. And does. Illusion Monkey on low boost. Looking to keep up pressure. However, Marmalade... Unable to continue to hold possession there and, and make it past half field. Rusky with an opportunity and that could have been on net just to be able to make it a little bit more awkward. We might see it go to overtime here. However, Johnny pops it for Squig. Squig unable to make contact. Johnny to the wall. 
looking for a scoring opportunity here and CEI will allow it to go into overtime. All oh, CEI has to do is put one into the net and we will see a game four. But right now, uh, Johnny Illusion Squig looking to not even let it get over to their side, making sure that the pressure stays heavy and the ball stays on CEI's side, making them play defense, which uh, is not been the strong suit, especially this game today. Again, a lot of easy, a lot of easy goals for Central Washington. Marmalade looking to capitalize on this opportunity. Ooh. However, the ball will go over, and that will be a goal from Illusion Monkey here. It'll just find an open net again. CEI's defense just not able to keep up with the immense pressure coming out from uh, Central Washington. And that will be uh, Central Washington. <laughs> that will be Central Washington um, taking the series uh, three to zero. Um, not fantastic, but what do you think would have had to change? You know, we, we stressed it before, just can't have anything easy. There's a lot of easy opportunities for Central Washington. It looks like there was some miscommunication overall on the side of CEI. Um, that said, you know, yeah, the series does fall to, to Central Washington and it, it will be a 3-0 sweep for them. However, we do have more game opportunities we have this week we have um overwatch playing tomorrow in the nace league at 6 30 p.m we're looking to hope hopefully bring back a dub to our devastating loss last week and then this thursday we'll have a super smash bros game around the same time 6 30 i believe correct um and both of those will be in the nace league so hopefully we will see everyone there who's joined the stream first of all thank you for joining uh this has been a nace league cei versus central washington university um it was 3-0 in favor of central washington uh uni the boys just not able to keep up the defense but uh yeah do you have any closing thoughts no closing thoughts there will uh, be no other comments at this time <laughs> all right thank you all for joining you joining us and we will see you tomorrow night for the overwatch game